That's right. That's right. Time for some water and more medication. No. Come on. No, no more pills. No, they make me too sleepy. Uh-uh, uh, doctor's no. orders. I don't want... You want to get better, don't you? Look, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Your choice. Outside for a smoke, do you? <laughs> Didn't think so. Listen to me. Or you have to wake up. Now, Lily is in real danger, and you are the only one who can help her. Oh! Diego. Surprised? Oh, I'll say. Look, I, I didn't get any sleep last night, did you? No, not really. I didn't like the way that we left things. Neither did I. Oh, good. Then I guess that means that you're past this whole postponement of the wedding business until your mother gets back? Diego, I'm not talking about a long postponement. Oh, really? Come on. Every woman wants to have their mother there. If not, it's bad luck. You don't want to start our marriage with bad luck now, do you? Your mother doesn't want to be there, Lily. She made that very clear in the note that she left I for you. I saw the note that she... I didn't take what she said seriously. Did you? I didn't think she would follow through on this threat not to be here. Obviously she has. Listen, you are so important to me. You are my life. You and Luke. And you are mine. I just want everything about our marriage to be perfect. That's all, in every way. It will be. No, not if the cloud of my mother's disapproval is over us. I'm not talking about a long postponement, a week, two, just no. a little... Please. No, the wedding is going to take place as planned, and that's that. They're new. The bricks are new. How did he... They weren't there. Hold it. Hold it. We're not going to get out that way. Have you got a better idea? Yes, I do. I do. We, we have to go back inside. We've got we've to go over, over every inch with a fine-tooth comb. We, we've we, done that. We, we've done that, Lucinda, well, we, a dozen times. We've got to do it again. We've got to... Maybe there's something soft in the wall. Maybe, maybe there's something. There's a steel wall behind the plaster. Yes, Or did you forget? We don't know where the structurally it goes all the way around the whole thing. Well, Come you on. do what you have to do, okay? You do what you okay, have to do. Okay, great. I'm going to stay here yeah. and work on this. Beat right? your head against a brick wall. Yeah, if that's what it takes. There's got to be some way out of here. Ugh. God damn it! As the world turns. Brought to you today by Cascade. Cascade with sheeting action gets dishes so clean they're virtually spotless. When you have more than one child, the older one needs to be a good role model. Tonight, my older son's doing the dishes and he's setting a great example for his little brother. Scrubbing everything, even the tea stand. No matter who does the dishes, Cascade does the dirty work. Cascade helps remove repeated microwave tea stains other detergents can leave behind. Perfect. I hope you watched him closely. Fight stains. Spots. Cascade. A mother's hands have the power to comfort and soothe. With Vicks Vaporub, they even have the power to help relieve a cold. 
Just massage some into your child's neck and chest. Our medicated vapors are released by your touch. And these ease congestion, reduce coughing, and make breathing easier. All it takes is a mother's touch and Vicks Vaporub. One powerful combination. Vicks Vaporub, cold relief in the palm of your hand. Want a tissue that makes kids say, ah, not ouch? Ow. I hate the way ordinary tissues hurt them. That's why there's Puffs Plus. Tests show they soothe better than regular tissues. See? It's soft. Puffs Plus has lotion with aloe and vitamin E. It's got lotion. That's why I feel so nice. And why Puffs Plus helps sore noses feel better than regular tissues. Wow. Because when they feel better, I feel better. Thanks, Mom. Puffs Plus. The soft and soothing ones for your loved ones. Okay, thank you. Right, now, look, what, let's split up, and you go clockwise, and I go counterclockwise. Shh, shh, what? Shh. What? I found it. What? Right what? here, this brick. The mortar around it is funky. Funky mortar? Yeah, it's, it's, it's crumbling, like it didn't set right. All we have to do is scrape it away. And listen to Brett. Hey, they always said I had claws. Fine, we'll show it. I have claws. We'll see how sharp my claws are. Okay. Well, the only thing that's going to do is give you bloody fingers. What we need is something metal. An earring. No, it's soft. I know. A belt buckle. All right. <laughs> this is gonna work. It's gonna work. It's not gonna be long now. I can't tell. Ow. It's, it's all right. It's fine. It's fine. There's it's not fine. much time right. left. What are you doing? My guess is that we have a day at most. The wedding is in a day, is it? Don't. Diego sealed us in here. Yeah. He also sealed off our air supply, right? Eventually, we're gonna run out of oxygen. And when we do, we're dead. Okay. Pilar, come on. Come on. What's the matter? Talk to me. Come on, that private nurse that Diego hired could come back any second. Come on. That's it, come Mike? on. Mike? Yes, this is Mike. It's Mike. Mike. Yeah, and we, we have a problem. We have a big problem. Well, I sent to Spain for Diego's birth records, and he got a hold of that letter before I got it. Now, there's not enough time to get those records before the wedding. I don't understand. How did Diego... How did How Diego did... get did... that letter and know it was at my house? Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe somebody told him. You think I... You think I... I would never betray you, Mike? Well, maybe maybe you don't see it as betraying me. Maybe, maybe you just see it as protecting your brother. That's all. You don't believe in me? No, I do. I do, I do believe in you. You have to, Mike. Please don't, don't give up on me now. I, shh, please. Shh, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I do believe in you. I do believe in you with all of my heart. Okay, now you, do you believe in me? How do you trust me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I, I need to ask you to do something, Pilar. I need you to go to the police. No. Yes, yes, you have to. No. We are running out of time. There is no other way. Now you have to turn Diego in. He is my brother. No. No, he is a murderer. Okay, Pilar. All right, just forget about punishing, forget about his other crimes. But what about Lily's safety? Huh? What about the other people he could hurt if he goes free? Now, you know this is the only way. Deep in your heart, you know this. I can't. I can't think straight. No, yeah. yes, you, no. yes, you can. Yes, you can. I, the pills. Everything. The pills? Yeah, out, out of focus. And I try. These, these, these pills? Are you taking these pills? The nerves. He, he's forcing me. He comes. I don't want to. And he, he comes. You, you mean here. Diego is forcing you to take these pills? Mm -hmm. He is drugging you? Is he? All right, okay. Fine. All right, look, look, you cannot take any more of these, all right? Do not let anyone give you these. Do you hear me? I want to go to sleep. No, 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 no. You cannot sleep. Please, please. Do not. This is, this is important. Please. Pilar! Pilar! The 
made your own brother do this to you. Damn you, Diego. You were gonna pay for this. Everything has already been planned down to the very last detail. All we have to do is change the arrangements to a different day. I'll handle everything. The, the honeymoon. The trip I planned for us, my big surprise. We do not have to change a thing if we just postpone it no, for a little... No, no. Friday is Valentine's Day. We have to get married on Valentine's Day. Sweetheart, what does it matter what day it's called? You'll always be my Valentine forever. <laughs> Look, don't you forever, see? Ever. This is exactly what your mother wanted. To, to meddle in our affairs on the most important day of our lives. Look, if you give in to her now, where will it stop? Where will it end? Lily, please don't let her do this to you. To us. I am begging you. And I am begging you, if you truly love me the way you say that you do, you will not let me walk down that aisle without my mother being there. Come on. Relationships are about compromise. Give and take. Are you telling me you can't see clear to compromise on this, even no. though it's so important to no, me? No, 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 I can't. Are you saying if we're not married by Friday? Then, then we don't get married, period. I worship you. I adore you, I love you with all of my heart and soul. And I refuse to live one day longer than I have to without you. I thought you felt the same way. Oh, I do. You know that I do. And... And I know you won't disappoint me. As a receptionist, I try to help our patients feel comfortable, like Kate. The first time she came here, she had a cavity. To protect against this, our dentist recommends Crest. Crest can actually help reverse the early stage of tooth decay, like this weak spot, because the fluoride in Crest's patented formula penetrates the weak spot and can actually help stop a cavity from forming. And more dentists have their very own kids brushed with Crest than all others combined. Hey, Mom, no cavities. The dentist's choice is Crest protection. So many cleaners. This is ridiculous. Weenie? No. You want just one cleaner? Mr. Clean? Yeah, he works in a bucket, on your sponge, even in a spray. He's concentrated. Oh. I mix one part Mr. Clean, two parts water. Come on, let's try them both on this weenie green. Wow, Mr. Clean cuts right through it. Yeah, and he can handle the tough stuff, too. You know, you're right. Uh-uh-uh. Make your own. I'll try Mr. Clean. Get the whole job done with one. We do everything together. In this family, it's just me and Mom. We share responsibilities. We even share clothes. Money's tight. Everything's got to go further. Clothes have got to last, no matter how many times you wash them. Intensified Tide Ultra 2, a unique cleaning system, washes away many tough stains better than leading detergents and helps clean away the fuzz that can make cottons look old. When clothes look new, it's like a whole new attitude. Tide Ultra 2. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. You've probably noticed all of these commercials about yeast infection treatments. They talk about how effective they are. Even so, if you read the labels, you'll notice there's only one three-day treatment that comes in the comfortable cream form most women prefer. Femstaff 3. It's the only cream out there that treats in three days. Three days? There is no better cure without a prescription. And what could be better than that? Femstaff 3. The cure that fits your life. Isabella Rossellini guests is a woman desperate for a baby, but is she blinded to the truth? He has to want to have this baby just as much as you do. All new Chicago Hope, CBS Tonight. I need to speak with Detective Hughes. Uh, she's busy right now. Come yeah. over there. Exactly what we need to put Diego away, but Emily won't cooperate. Margo, look, I know how important the this man is. raped her, Jessica. Well, and I find that as horrible and disturbing as you, but I'm please just talk to her. Just get her to press the charges, please. I'm not sure if I can do that in good faith. 
Emily fled the hospital before she was examined. She disposed of the clothes that she was wearing. I mean, there's no physical evidence to back her story. I doubt the case will go to court, and if it does, it's Emily's word against Diego's. Oh, and God forbid anybody should believe the victim. If Emily gets on that witness stand, you know what's going to happen. Diego's attorney is going to dredge everything and anything up that's questionable about her past. I mean, he's going to have a field day. She'll be torn to shreds, and for what? To lose a case that wasn't winnable in the first place. I hate this. I hate this. Every single time I think I've got this man caught, he somehow managed to slip it away and hurt somebody else. And there is not a damn thing that I can do about it. Yes, sir, as you'll find a way. I know you will. Well, I'm not so sure about that. I think I could come up with the most damning, airtight evidence in God's good earth, and this man would find a way to turn it to his advantage. Do you really believe that, Margo? That there's no evidence that'll be enough to bring Diego down? How long have you been here? Just answer my question, Margo. You know what? I've told you before. Why don't you let us handle this? Stay out. Oh, yeah, you guys have really done a bang-up job, haven't you? Well, my goodness, have we come here to fling insults, or is there really a reason for this visit? No. No reason at all. What was that all about? Big man, short fuse. He's not the only one. Oh, well, you must have been talking to Tom. And did he tell you that I was too personally involved in this case to be objective? No, nope, Tom hasn't said anything to me, and I have no problem with you being personally involved. You get personally involved with every case you work on. That's what makes you a great cop. But you cannot let your feelings consume you, Margo. You have to keep things in perspective. Am I right? Of course you're right, Jessica. You're always right. But I still want you to talk to Emily. Come on, even if the charges don't stick, at least if she makes, presses them, we can get him down here. I can put the screws to him, and I know I can break him. I know he'll slip up. I know I can nail his butt to the wall. Please. Come on, my friend. Help me out here, okay? Uh, Emily, this is Connor. I'm in your office waiting for you. We had a meeting this morning. Um... Okay, I'm just going to assume that you're running a little late and that you're on your way. But if you get this message and your plans have changed, can you just give me a call and let me know? Thanks. Bye. So how is she? She's better now. I gave her children's Tylenol flu last night. Children's Tylenol flu? It's new. Huh, and it worked on her aches, chills, and fever? Even her runny nose and coughing, it took care of everything. And she slept? Oh, and did she need it? Oh, this flu bug is the worst. Mommy. Look who's up. Mommy, I'm hungry. New children's Tylenol flu. Finally, a flu medicine made just for kids. What I like most about this marrow bone is it has that crunchy exterior. It's really good for the teeth, and on the inside, it's made up of real bone marrow. You can depend on pedigree to do what's right for your dog. Pedigree, developed with vets, recommended by top breeders. The American family. Falling apart. History. Doomed. I disagree. Who's that? It is I, Emilio Ortega. And my taco shells have been bringing families together for generations. Bring your family together, the Ortega way. A dilemma. As an adult, I insist on a cereal that offers nutrition. Yet I can't deny that part of me desires frosting. I want frosting. Mm. The proper cereal is low in fat, salt, and taste. What about taste? Relax. With Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats, you can have it both ways. For the adult in you, whole grain wheat, 98% fat free, no salt added. For the kid in you, lightly frosted, great taste. I know it goes on my tray. The sweet stuff. Why would anyone take on this? Do something! Let's go! Where just one mistake can cost a life. Got a guy laying over there face down in the water right now. It's a high seas adventure. Where's your leader, Starver? And a life and death lesson. Eye on America tonight on the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. As governor of Idaho here in Boise, I know there's more to this morning. You've been giving her the dosage we discussed. Yeah. 
She's out most of the time. And when she does come to, she's not coherent. You swear you never left her alone? The last thing I need is that Mike Kasanoff guy snooping around in here. I swear, I haven't left her side. Oh, give me a minute, all right? I'm sorry to do this to you, Pilar. There was no other way. Emily's been telling lies about me. She's even planted doubts in Lily's mind because Lily's been talking about postponing the wedding. But I told her, no, no. The wedding has to go forward as planned. But there's something I have to take care of. You just rest. Soon this whole ordeal will be over. You, Lily, and I will leave this place forever. We'll never be separated again. Ever. Will you just leave me alone? Why are you doing this to me? What are you doing here, Jessica? Margot told me what happened, Emily. I I'm really very sorry. <sighs> Emily, Jessica just wants to talk to you a bit about the case. There is no case. I told you, I'm not pressing charges. Would you please hear her out, please? You don't give up, do you? Fine. Huh. I'll listen. But it's not going to change how I feel. Or what happened. Nothing's ever going to change that. Would you please listen to me? Not if you're going to tell me to call off the wedding. All right. If, you're, if you won't call off the wedding, will you please just postpone it? Why? I just got back from the hospital visiting Pilar. Diego is drugging her, Lily, to keep her quiet so she won't tell anybody what she knows. So? So you can imagine what she knows. Lily, she is confiding in me. When I told her she had to tell Diego to go to the police, she didn't exactly say no. She didn't exactly say yes either, did she? She is this close to coming on our side. Well, you know what? When she does, you just let me know. In the meantime, I will do things my way. Look, I am just asking you to give me a little more time I so I can get time. through it. I am out of time! Are you okay? Fine. Then I'm fine. I'm just fine. Well, let me see. I'm fine, I said! Hey, what is it? Oh, talk to me. Please. I'm here. I'm here. Just talk to me. Okay. I... I already asked Diego to postpone the wedding. And he said no. He said if I don't marry him on Friday, then that's it. He's not going to marry me at all. Well, hallelujah. That's the best news we've no, heard No, you do not months. understand. I have to do this. I have to. I'm getting so close to getting him to confess to me. I... So you have been working an angle on him. Oh, Lily, I knew it. I knew it. You are brave. No, you are crazy. I'm not brave. But you are I am brave. brave. I am so scared. I'm going to tell you everything. I'm going to tell you everything, but you have to help me. More than you've ever helped me before in the past. Mothers have learned from countless doctors and pharmacists Next. that the way to take care of a cough is with fast, soothing Robitussin. And they've taken this advice home. Next. Robitussin, recommended by Dr. Mom.
If the same cold keeps going around your family, try Lysol Disinfectant Spray. It disinfects to kill the cold virus where it's just waiting to be picked up. Lysol Spray helps protect. You have our word on it. Today's show, listening to our bodies. Ladies, my body's telling me. Uh, can you just listen to me? Your hair is staying nice and easy from Clairol with Healthy Shine Conditioner. Hi. It works with your hair's own tones and highlights. 110 and 117. Let's go, let's go. Look, the Healthy Shine Conditioner lets the natural looking color shine through. I don't know what her body thinks, but your hair is saying. Oh, yeah. It's nice and easy to be natural from Clairol. Ultra Healing Lotion absorbs completely to help restore your skin's natural moisture and make it touchably soft. Make the most of the special moments you share. Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion. Because life is touching. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. Devious, deceitful, and desperate. Everywhere I go, people are whispering behind my back. Annie will use anyone. We have Reva exactly where we want her. And everyone. This plan is brilliant. To keep Reva away. She wants to get her claws into Josh, and I have to make sure that that doesn't happen. Hold on to your man, girl, and don't let go this week. Attention diabetics. If you have diabetes and use insulin, you can save money on name brand diabetic supplies. Just call 1-800-649-1771 to have Liberty Medical Supply bill Medicare or your private insurance directly and get free delivery right to your door. Medicare covers diabetic testing supplies for patients using insulin. Now you can have us bill Medicare directly and ship your supplies right to your home. No more claim forms to fill out. No more worry about getting your payment. We handle everything. Why pay cash up front or bother with trips to the store when Liberty will ship right to your home for free? Call 1-800-649-1771 and find out how to join thousands of other satisfied Liberty customers who get their supplies worry-free. Take advantage of your Medicare and insurance benefits for diabetic supplies. Satisfaction is guaranteed. Call 1-800-649-1771 now for diabetic supplies the easy, convenient way. Hey, did you know that now Southern Californians get into Disneyland for just $26? Hmm? Cool hair, dude. Southern Californians get into Disneyland for only $26. It's just too good to pass up. Jurors already found him liable for the deaths of Ronald Goldman and Nicole Brown Simpson. But how much money does he have? Is he a rich man? worth millions, or a poor man, virtually penniless. Finally, a decision on punitive damages and O.J. Simpson's financial fate. This is a 2 News special report. O.J. Simpson's civil trial, the verdict. That decision now is just moments away. Good afternoon, I'm Michael Tuck. And I'm Ann Martin. We will rejoin as the world turns in just a moment. But first now, the jurors in the Simpson civil trial have reached their decision on punitive damages against O.J. Simpson. Last week, they found him liable for the death of Ron Goldman and liable for the beating of Nicole Brown Simpson, as you remember. And they awarded Goldman's family $8.5 million in compensatory damages. Compensatory, so now we move on to the punitive damages phase. It's taken them a couple of days of debate on that. Let's go to Dave Lopez. He is live at the courthouse in Santa Monica. Dave, just minutes away, apparently. Yes, Mike, we are getting word that uh, no one has been allowed in the court yet. Uh, we have a way of having uh, some type of uh, reaction when that does happen. But what I'm going to explain to you now, I'm across the street. Uh, directly behind me, you see this big bay window. They will be putting up signs. They will be putting up uh, 
a, a C. They will be putting up uh, different letters that will indicate where they are in the courtroom right now, and then they will indicate by the numbers what the punitive damages will be. And I will be able to show you that when it actually happens. Just a couple of things. First of all, O.J. Simpson, through his defense attorneys, has expressed no desire to be in court today. So all the pictures that you will see of O.J. today will be taped. O.J. Simpson, as of now, according to Mr. Baker, his attorney, will not be in court. He is not obligated to be here. He has not been in court since the verdict was rendered last Tuesday that held him liable. Now, what you will be hearing are four different verdicts today. We will be, uh, uh, we are, this is now a live shot of just outside the courtroom uh, there is heavy security I do not know if they closed off Main Street I'm, I'm told that they were going to uh, so I'm sure that they did but what you will be hearing are four different verdicts is uh, OJ uh, should OJ Simpson pay punitive damages either a yes or a no and then they will go to the money damage right now right now the uh, the various uh, people involved in this case are uh, waiting to get inside the courtroom. Judge Fujisaki will then uh, call the court to, or the court will call the court to order, and then Judge Fujisaki will take the bench. Normally in these kind of cases, when they say 1.30, court time is usually about 10 to 15 minutes behind what they really mean. So it could be anywhere from 10 minutes, uh, 20 minutes uh, of uh, two or a quarter to two. You're now looking at a live picture from the side view, or excuse me, this is recorded earlier. This is uh, Daniel Petricelli on the, the far right uh, with his arms around uh, Mrs. Goldman. Uh, you see uh, the sister of uh, Ronald Goldman also uh, being uh, g going into court. There is a side view. They, it's about a 200 to 300 yard walk to the, from the double tree into the courtroom. There you see Fred Goldman without a tie. Uh, appears to have a smile on his face. And again, this was recorded earlier. I'm guessing about 15 minutes, uh, uh, 15 minutes ago. They go up to a second floor where they are waiting outside the courtroom. Uh, I, what I am told is that the uh, courtroom has not been opened yet. All of the reporters have been summoned to the floor. That's where Harvey Levin is right now. They will go through a metal detector. They all have assigned seats, and then they will be uh, seated, situated, and then everything will uh, be called to order. We will be able to tell you, basically, uh, as it happens through that uh, sign indicator, we will let you know exactly when that happens. But as of now, O.J. Simpson will not be there. Court is not in session, but the jury has reached a verdict. They reached a verdict a little before 12, told the judge, went to lunch, and the judge called for the court to reconvene at 1.30. It's now 1.33, so they're running just a little bit late, but that's very unusual. That's very rare. I mean, courtrooms do not operate the way if you say 1.30, it doesn't mean 1.30. Back to you. Okay, Dave, and you and the rest of the team are there to keep an eye on things for us, and I know as soon as we do hear that verdict begin to come in, we'll go right back to them live there. We're going to do that. In fact, uh, the moment uh, that we hear that it is coming in, we will cut back in uh, to programming. Right now, we're going back to As the World Turns. We'll be back with you, though, in just a few minutes with that verdict. This has been a 2 News special report. The Simpson Civil Trial. The verdict. She's afraid of him. Don't you see? I have to go through with my plan. My plan is the only one that's going to work. Really, have you really thought this through? Of course. No, but I mean, have you really thought this thing through to the bitter end? What is the bailout point? What if he hasn't confessed by the time you get to the altar? He will. He will. But what if he doesn't? Are you ready to become Mrs. Diego Santana? Are you ready for wedding night with I, this I, man? I, I don't, I don't, I don't no, but you have to. Now, you have been able to hold him off until now. But once you are his wife, you can bet he's going to expect you to act like a wife. Now, given he has raped so Emily... Stop right now. I have come too far. Too far to turn back now. I need the truth from Diego. No matter what it takes. Hours and nothing. It's nothing, nothing. Take a break. Let's no, I'm fine. I'm just fine. Well, I'm let's do it for my sake. What? Okay. Oh. What I wouldn't give now, right now, for a nice martini up, up, bone dry. Beer for me. Ice cold. And corned beef on rye. Caviar. Oh, caviar. Caviar? Sure, yeah. sure, why not? Oh, my God, I remember. I gave him the first taste of caviar right here in this house, and <laughs> you almost gagged on it. It's an acquired taste. You've acquired it? Sure. Sure, but only the good stuff. 
You've got it, baby. You get us out of here. You've got it. The best stuff. Lifetime endowment. Blown in from the Black Sea. Beluga, beluga. You can have a, a bathtub full of it. You can swim in it. You can drown in it. Do you intend on honoring I'm, that absolutely, promise? Absolutely. I swear it. I swear it. Well, if you're going to back out, this is your last chance. What? Because... This mortar is starting to crumble. Just a few more minutes, and we should be able to slide this brick right out. 